Okay, so I've received the rectifier circuits in the mail. And what I've done is just uh, wired it into place and taped it down. And I've got an old setup here again from an old um, old eight scale model. I've taken the, um, uh, the remote start there, starter unit, hooked it up uh, to uh, a motor there that will turn my quote unquote alternator producing the um, uh, alternating current. The rectifier, of course, ch changes, uh, converts the uh, alternating current to a direct current. And then that I fed to the little motor here. And this motor has a little propeller on it because this is going to be a fan for the air uh, coming uh, from the dash in the model. So I just wanted to, <coughs> there indeed it works. <coughs> So what I'm doing, what I decided to do was this. Um, this setup here um, will not be powering this particular fan that's gonna be inside the model. This setup uh, will be powering the radiator fan uh, in the engine pay so that when the engine's running, right, the charge is produced, the radiator fan runs. Uh, right now, the way I had it situated or have it situated in the prototype, I actually had the radiator fan being um, controlled here in this switch on, this, on the dash. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to connect this little uh, motor uh, into the backside of the dash and, um, and I'll control it with this button here just like I did the radiator. So I still get to use this It'll be functional in a really cool way, I think, uh, being that when the engine's running, the radiator fan will, will run. And then I get to still have my interior air controlled by the dash. And so what I've done is I've mocked up some of the, I'm not gonna really show the details because it's pretty, pretty ugly, but I've mocked up the vents, right? On the console here, center console. And here I drew this out so I could get a picture in my mind what it should look like for the STL drawing or design. So I've got these here, right? They are both, uh, these are on either side of the center console. And then in the back here, there's another piece right there that covers it up. Uh, the fan uh, is situated you know, in the back, right? The fan motor kind of sits inside in the back side. And the fan, this is looking at it straight on from the back side. And then the idea is that the air is drawn in from the outside and forced through these vents here, the side. And that gets controlled by pressing the, of course, the knob on the dash. So that was just some, some drawings I did, preliminary drawings, got the dimensions and that kind of stuff. So that was that. So I got that worked out. The next thing, let me turn this. Okay. So here, what I decided to do is to take this rectifier circuit and I'm going to install it into the master brake cylinder, okay? So I got all the um, measurements there and drew that up. And the idea is to hollow, um, create a void in here, right? So I can slide this thing in, uh, the eight, eighth, uh, one eighth inch ID uh, holes here in the uh, master cylinder um, so that I can run the wires out. I'm gonna run, have aluminum you know, hollow aluminum tubes coming out to mimic the brake lines, obviously. But in actuality, they'll just be the wires being being hidden by the tubes. And it should be, it should go a long way to help um, keep the scale, you know, engine bay intact, the look of it. So here is the master brake cylinder. Uh, the file is, um, will be uh, altered this weekend, will be hollowed out, such that this rectifier circuit, right, can slide into it just like the picture shows, right? And thereby completing the last detail uh, for this build. This is the absolute last thing I had to do um, in terms of working out a, a detail for the production car, uh, other than, of course, the doors. I think I showed a video of um, the doors having um, a particular um, um, 
edit done to the top of the door frame. Um, but this is the last technical one I had to work out and I should have the files done by this weekend in hand and I'll start printing these out. Um, and I'll, I have the, I should have these files here too, in terms of, uh, the front and the side and uh, back rather uh, rear files and vents for the dash console. And then uh, I can finish putting this thing together, putting them all together. So. I was just happy that uh, the rectifiers worked, put out enough juice. 12 volts, one amp is what I'm told this is. Um, I've not tested or anything, um, but I will. But I just want to put that out there. Stay tuned, more later.